guys how's it going so today is day three after my surgery so i've just been doing a lot of stuff so yesterday i had a wig sale like i said to you guys in the previous vlog i had a wig sale yesterday and then today i went to go get a p.o box and start um sending some stuff out so i will send the stuff out on monday everything's packed in my car i just have to go finish the paper for the p.o box so like i said to you guys when the p.o box is open i'll leave the p.o box under my description bar a uh, box if you guys are interested in like sending me things or whatever um i know i should have had one a long time ago but i just like i have like a lot of things going on so um it was perfect time since i'm like out of commission right now i'm just home um but i got a lot of stuff done i did a video yesterday for transformation tuesday and i actually did an entire transformation tuesday on someone else my cousin now the reason why i did that is because a lot of people i especially doesn't start to sell some of my units i don't want you guys to buy to think that if the unit looks like that on me that it's going to look like that on you or that you guys are thinking that like oh it's not going to look like that so i showed you guys what it looked like on someone else i did the baby hairs everything glued it down the whole entire nine yards so it actually came out really nice and she looked really nice after and she was very happy so i want to do i'm putting that video up on tuesday because i want to show you guys um kind of like the wigs on other people and see how I style on other people and how it looks so that you guys are more confident when you're purchasing stuff so you guys aren't like oh well it looks like that on Dom and it's not gonna look like that on me yes it will look like that on you so I mean like just just watch the video on Tuesday you guys will be very pleased I told you guys I'm gonna start doing transformation Tuesday videos because it makes sense for me to review wigs with other people in it instead of it just being myself because you guys need to see what it looks like on other people other than me and like I said this is a learning channel so it makes sense to do that on my learning channel so as far as today I'm not taking any narcotics today I the last time I took a narcotic was yesterday it was like in the afternoon just because I was really getting real tight so I took my shower today and that's why I'm late vlogging today because I was being so lazy this morning so I took a shower today I took the bandage off of the nipple area so the only thing that I have on the nipple area is the steri strips and the um I have inside uh, stitches well that will dissolve because I had to get a, a um, capsulotomy so I have inside stitches inside my breast and outside you can open the door and outside as well too so I have a, I took off the dressing all around my nipples and I also took off the pads so basically I'm just sitting in my shirt that I went on surgery day so I'm just basically sitting with the um actual bra on so let me just show you guys I showed you guys yesterday like so I just have the bra on today and yeah so um I actually looked at them I'm really excited like it really proportioned my body out tremendously and I'm sorry there's like no light in here I just didn't turn anything on so I'm like more proportionate now and I just they look so good guys like and the funny thing about that they don't hurt so if I want to start the massages myself which I'm not going to because he's gonna tell me to start the massages on Wednesday but I can squeeze them together I can like they like, touch them they are really like they are big like like I can't even like like I used to be able to like look on the side and see like my like hip I like see a mountain when I turn to the side. I can just see my breasts. I feel like they look, they just, they just look way, they just look, this is just what I wanted. So I'm really, really happy. And I'm happy that I did this. Like, I'm so happy. So, um, that's about it. Like I said, I took the antibiotics this morning. I'm supposed to take one every 12 hours. So I took one this morning with a protein shake and some eggs. I have not had a bowel movement yet and I don't think that's cool and it's not cool because that's three days and I haven't had a bowel movement so I'm gonna have to get some um milk of mag later I think I have some at the house I asked I think I have some here I'm gonna have to drink some milk of mag or some citricale because I need to use the bathroom and since I've become a pescatarian if you guys don't know that I don't eat meat I haven't e eaten meat in like um six months so since I've started that lifestyle change, I use the bathroom every day because I eat more. I eat like a lot of fiber now since I don't eat meat. So me not using the bathroom is kind of weird for me because I usually use the bathroom every single day. So I'm definitely going to have to get something to like uh, initiate the the bowel movement because that's just not good. And my stomach is looking a little bit stuck. It's looking a little bit uh, fluff right now. So I know I need to use the bathroom. Because I'm looking at my stomach. I'm like, wait, I'm not usually this fluffy in that area. So I'm a little bit stuffed right now. So I'm going to have to get something later so I can induce the bowel movement because you don't want to be backed up for too many days. So this is day three. So I'm going to initiate it today so I can use the bathroom. But other than that, I'm good. Like I said, um, the only bad, the only sucky thing is sleeping. You can't sleep on, you can't sleep on your stomach, your side. You have to sleep upright with your head up in like an upright position, which is annoying. So what I've been using is, um, 
the travel uh neck roll thing to support me so i sleep on it like i'm like every morning i wake up i'm like like doused and drool so it's just something i have to get used to but it was nice to take a shower today and get clean so i'm happy about that so i'm gonna eat some of this shrimp from popeyes and a biscuit lemonade red beans and rice and some mashed potatoes and i will catch you guys a little bit later and i'll let you guys know how i'm doing so the vlog will go up around five o'clock today and it's i'm not it's just a straight through vlog um and you guys will see um i showed you guys in the vlog like what the boobs look like after um and you guys know if you guys want to see my old vlogs when i first got breast implants in 2015 yes and check those videos out it'll be helpful so you guys can see the size difference but obviously i'm gonna do a after the, for the two week update i'm gonna do like a whole sit down and talk to you guys about it but i kind of feel like i'm okay now to do like videos so probably tomorrow i'll be back on my video game like usual so yeah so i'll catch you guys a little bit later guys so it is late right now and i'm only up right now because i took a nap so okay like a little bit tired right now but i posted that vlog up today and a lot of you guys were really supportive i'm i'm not surprised because this procedure that i had that i got i have already gotten it done before so you guys already know like even before my boobs 650 now I was 350 before I've already had breast implants so it's not like I'm just showing up in front of you guys saying oh guess what I made a decision today saying oh I'm gonna get breast implants today nah bro I already had them so despite the fact that some people just felt like they had to say something and most of the people that do comment it's usually guys and it's kind of strange but I don't care you can say whatever you want it is what it is but I do thank everyone who supports me and who are saying really nice things because I'm like I'm really transparent it is what it is like I'm not gonna come on here and lie to you guys it's kind of like dumb fake stuff if I do that um I will do a video obviously sit down video so I could talk to you guys about the whole process and stuff and like I did say to you guys previously the pain level for me is really non-existent it's basically what I got it done on Thursday Fridays it's day two when I'm fine so um the first time I'm not gonna lie the first time was terrible and like i said the first time i got breast implants was like three years ago three or four years ago and i was completely flat so they had to stretch me a lot so they stretched me to 350 the first time i got stretched to 650 this time however it is i do feel the stretch this time but um it's not as bad as the first time the only part of my boobs that hurts is a nipple area um just where the incisions at that's the part that's a little sore it's more sore on my left side versus my right side but um it's nothing that I can't handle. I have not taken any of my narcotics today. I'm fine. I kind of have that like off the anesthesia headache now, which is kind of weird. It's a little bit late into the two days later to have that. Like when you come off the of anesthesia, you usually end up having like this little headache. Um, I'm just having like a little headache now, but I'm not interested in taking anything just because I really don't take pills like that anyways. Like, like not really. So I'm just going to be fine. I think a little bit of rest will be good. I did take a nap in the afternoon. I was just tired and um, I posted up the vlog today. And what else did I do? Mm, that's about it. Um, tomorrow, I'm, I'm probably going to get up and go out with my sister. Uh, she's so nice. She's been taking care of me, bringing me my snacks and stuff. She bought me a yogurt. And remember I told you guys that I was... Uh, eating yogurt because when you take the antibiotics you got to make sure you have a backup yogurt helps because you do not want to get stuck with a yeast infection that's like the worst ever so definitely get yourself like some greek yogurt or any yogurt that has like good it has it has bacteria in it but it has good bacteria that will prevent you from getting a yeast infection so i mentioned that before so i just got plain chobani the greek yogurts have a lot of the bacteria so um i would recommend using like a lot of the greek yogurts um yeah so i have my yogurt it's like i needed a snack like i um i was in my house like wow i can go for some fries right now but we all know that's not gonna work i will give you guys a video about the 21 day challenge that i'm doing so the 20 like i saw people left comments in the last vlog i'm not trying to lose weight like that's the thing i'm just trying to uh kind of like work out like get like nice tone and like tone my body up am i trying to lose like 30 pounds absolutely not am i trying to kind of like lose some fat maybe i'm trying to lose some fat and tone up my body so even if i lost 10 pounds it would probably look like i didn't because i kind of like got my arms like nice and toned 
tone my stomach a little bit. As far as wearing my legs and butt, just do some squats and stuff like that. But as far as me losing weight, that's not on the agenda for me. I'm pretty happy with the way I am now. I just want to work out, build a better lifestyle. Like I mentioned, I do not eat meat. I haven't eaten meat in like in like six months now. So I've changed my diet completely. And um, it is different because I'm not as tired anymore. And I have more energy, but... I really need to work on building like like good meals so that I'm not always eating like fries or like junk stuff like that. I do eat a lot of beans though. <laughs> I'm like a real beanie person now, but I'm ch I'm gonna do this 21 day challenge thing and I will do an initial video on the 21 day challenge I'm gonna record that video probably on Monday because that's when the challenge starts So I'll give you guys all the breakdown of the information and to where I found the challenge from and stuff like that So I'm gonna try to record that tomorrow if I can get up and have the strength if I do not Then I will let you guys know but I'm doing a 21 day challenge um, I did tell you guys I'm traveling a lot so I'm traveling. Yo, I got a lot of things that are happening. So mm. so I'm traveling to New Orleans in February. Then I'm going to Thailand in March and then I'm going to Europe and um I'm going to Europe in May. And then I believe I'm going to Miami in like June or July and then I'm going to Disneyland in California for Christmas. So I have like a travel year and like I plan my stuff that way just because I don't really like go shopping and stuff like that. I don't really do like a lot of like things like that for myself like like buy things for myself that much because a lot of the stuff that I do get like I do fashion videos hair videos so you get kind of like products so I really don't get the opportunity to spend money on myself that much guys if I want to buy something I'll probably buy like one pair of sneakers and that's like the most random thing I'll buy but I really don't get to enjoy myself too much so I usually kind of treat myself with trips and stuff like that and maybe some new boobs but um I usually save a lot of my money so like well a good portion of my uh salary for my work and stuff like that i pretty much save all my money so um i have some money that i wanted to, i saved so i was like you know i'll take it and then just go on a few trips this year and stuff like that because i don't really buy myself anything so you guys will see a lot wow it's gonna be great guys and i noticed that you guys said that you guys like me vlogging so i'll probably do vlogs obviously once i'm out of this position right here then i can get in and do like some good vlogs so oh, i have like a little cramp in my boob Oh, I get like little sporadic cramps, guys, with these bad boys here. Oh, I got a cramp on the left boob. Ugh. And you know what's the worst part? It's the way I'm sleeping. Like sleeping like this upright, it, it's terrible. Like my back hurts. I'm getting like a boob cramp. Ugh. But yeah, so I have a lot of things going on, guys. So I'm going to keep you guys in the loop. I'm really enjoying this. Yo, 2018 is starting off pretty good. I have not used the bathroom yet, but I'm probably going to go, like, I know this is a TMI. I'm probably going to go sit on the toilet and try to see if I could produce something. Um, I tried to get my mother to bring me something. She didn't do that. My sister, she was being lazy. She didn't want to go get me anything, so I'm pretty much stuck here. But tomorrow, I will be in a car and out and about because IHOP is having, like, their pancake thing. So they're like, oh, let's go have pancakes tomorrow. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to go with y'all. Um... But don't expect me to put a wig on or nothing. I'm going out with like an oversized top. Hopefully nobody like elbows me or like dings me like, ha. Huh. That'd be like the worst ever. So hopefully no one does that. And yeah, so I'm going to do that tomorrow and go get, I, I, I think I could produce a BM tonight. I, this is TMI. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm trying to keep it real. But honestly, you have to make sure your, your, all your systems are back to normal after being under anesthesia, you just that's just how it is. I'm sorry, I have to say that. But <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna um Yeah, I'm gonna go and make um probably use a bathroom with you. Try so I can produce something. And if not, tomorrow I'm definitely gonna hit myself with some laxative so I can produce it because my stomach is really, really fat right now, and it's usually not that large, so I know I'm a little backed up. It's gonna go on day three, so I really gotta take care of that. Oh, I have like a cramp. I cannot sleep like this tonight. My chest is starting to hurt now just because it's like a weird position to sleep and like, oh. Uh. So I need to find a different position, a way to sleep tonight because I'm catching like a little cramp in my chest. Hmm. All right, guys. So that's about it. Um, I will catch you guys in the morning tomorrow. I'm probably going to wake up a little bit earlier than usual. I don't go back to work to Tuesday and I'm going to go back to work because I'm fine. So I do have to go and um, have get my scrubs cleaned up because I don't even know 
where my scrubs are. I don't know where they're at. I just got to organize them. I do start a new job on Friday. I'm doing hospice. I've done hospice in the past, but I'm doing hospice. Um, I'm doing like this, this whole entire, and, and in Connecticut, this is the first ever hospice home. Well, it's a hospice home that opened in Fairfield County. So I'm going to be, I'm actually, I was the first one that got hired for that job. They freaking love me. So I'm going there Friday and do 12 hour shifts with them. So that's where I'm going to go on Friday. And, um, that's my, that's a new job that I got. And I love it. Every, all, all, the whole st entire staff, everyone's mad cool. So I do that on Friday. I'm doing the Women's March. I don't know. Hopefully you guys are watching this. Saturday the 20th, there's a Women's March in New York City. I got five tickets for me and my friends to go. So it starts at 11 o'clock and it ends at 3 p.m. So if you did not get your tickets, definitely go to the Women's March. I'm going to be there. I'm, like, I'm just excited. I missed it last year and it's definitely a good thing. It's like a good empowerment thing for women to go to. So I'm going there on Saturday. So if I see, if you see me wave, guys, I'll be glammed up. I'll be looking like Dominique, A. Eh? <laughs> mm. so um definitely hit me up with the peace sign or come give me a hug or say hi so definitely if you live in new york city or you live on the east coast make sure you go to the women's march on saturday the 20th all right guys so i'm gonna go use the bathroom finish up my yogurt and watch some funny mukbang videos my friends were telling me before i go my friends were uh, saying that I should do mukbang videos like Dom Eats or like because like I'm a real foodie type of person, which you guys don't know. Even though I don't eat meat per se, I do like a lot of seafood and stuff like that. And I'm really like a big boil person. I like seafood boils and things like that. Um, one of my favorite places to go to to eat like seafood boil in, in, on the East Coast is a boil in NYC. I don't know if you... If you know what I'm talking about, leave a comment down below. NYC in New York, they have something called the boil. Oh my God. I go, that's like, that's like date night for me and me and my boyfriend. We go there all the time and it's just like legitimately like the best thing ever. So, um, I don't know. They were saying like, maybe I should do like a Dom Eats. I'm a foodie person, guys. Even though I don't eat meat and I'm a pescatarian, I'm not a vegetarian. I still need that, um, uh, kick of something, but eventually I probably become a vegetarian, not vegan, can't do plant-based. It's just weird. So, um, yeah, so I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Just leave your comments down below. So, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. It is 11.14 and I'm being dragged out the house because they want to go eat pancakes at Zyhop. Yay! Here's Danny driving. Thank God she didn't take my car. So, we're going to... I, you took my car this morning? No. We're going to IHOP now. Um... They dragged me out. I'm feeling really good today, guys. Like I said, this is practically a piece of cake walk in the park for me. And I'm not saying that because I don't want you guys to think like, oh, if I go do it, it's gonna be a walk in the park too, but it really is a walk in the park. I'm, I'm like totally good. So we're gonna go to IHOP. I'm not really an IHOP person, but they have some pancake special going on. Um, other than their pancakes, like their regular food, like their eggs and stuff like that are pretty gross. It's just, they don't cook it right, so um, I'm not going to be entertaining any of that. I'm just going to get like two little pancakes and call it a day. Um, wow, th this is like really blocking me. Then I'm starting this 21 day challenge thing, so we have to go to the grocery store and pick up some groceries for the 21 day ta challenge. We're going to go to Costco, so I'll bring you guys along with me. And I'm also going to go to the hair store today, so I'm going to show you guys like the things that I pick up from the hair store. Um, I'm going to try to actually bleach my knots. Someone asked me about that, so I'm going to do a talk through video on how I bleach my knots because I think that's important. Since I do everything else, I might as well show you guys that. So I'm going to bleach my knots and I'm going to do a, a talk through video on how to bleach your knots and hopefully it's not a fail video I'm hoping that it's a it's a win video and then I'm probably gonna dye some hair and make a wig since I have some time like I have low energy I'm really tired and just to mention I did use a bathroom yesterday so I did go and um, but I'm still gonna take a laxative today though because I felt like it was like it wasn't like sufficient enough for me I still feel a little bloated in the stomach area so I'm definitely gonna take a laxative today um, yeah so tomorrow starts my 21 day challenge I really can't work out that much because of my surgery so when I go on Wednesday he'll tell me like I have to wait like six weeks after the surgery to actually work out so what I'm gonna do working out meaning like I can't do upper body move upper body workout like with weights and stuff like that because of my muscle and my breast so what I'm gonna do is probably just do like a lot of the lower body workouts like lunges squats and stuff like that and stuff that'll target like my lower stomach which is my problem area so um hopefully oh my hopefully that works out well and i put a wig on today yeah so i put like a little wig on oh my god this, this, the video is like so shaky 
So that's what I'm going to do today. And this vlog will go up on Monday, Martin Luther King Day. Is it Martin Luther King Day tomorrow? Monday, yeah. Tomorrow, the vlog will go up tomorrow and I'll probably have a hair video go up as well tomorrow. Tuesday, I have Transformation Tuesday video, Wig Wednesday, and I have two try on hauls. One try on haul for Thursday and one try on haul for Friday. So it'll be like a whole uh, thing of videos because, you know, you guys, I skipped out on the video and stuff like that. For a week, what are you talking about? That's a video every day. I, sometimes I do videos every day. What are you talking about? That just wait, wait. That video every day thing is just this week. Next week I'm going back to my regular every Wednesday and Friday, and I sporadically put like a Monday video up or a Tuesday video up, and that's it. But this week I do owe you guys some, some giving to you guys, and plus I have some de deadlines anyway, so I gotta put those deadlines through. So you know, you know. So I wonder what it's gonna be like today. Since this is the first time me vlogging, I want to see if people watch. People are gonna be staring at me like crazy, but I don't care. So um, I'm gonna vlog. I have a good battery and I have a good memory card space on here. So we're, you guys gonna come with me? Um, I'm pretty good. Wow, that hurt. I can't. Do oh. So um, yeah, I, like my boobs are. This still. I feel like my left side gives me more pain than the right side. But um, I bought the girls out today. They're covered right now. Nice and secure. I tried one of my shirts on and my boots look really big in the shirt. I was like, wow, right Nan? Mm-hmm. Look at texting and driving. Mm -hmm. no, no. All right guys, um, I'll catch you guys when I hit up the the pancake, pancake kingdom. I'll tell, I really like that kind of stuff, but I'm gonna go because they was, and let me, it's Sunday, there's gonna be so many people from church going after, it's gonna be packed, you know? So hopefully, it's good. I'm not, I'm not, I, I, oh. I mean, I'm oh. trying not to, but. All those bumps are hurting. So hopefully, hopefully it's not packed. Um, but yeah. You guys hear that comp on the background? Let's go. <laughs> no, but hopefully it's not packed and I'll let you guys know. I'll show you guys what kind of meal I got if I even get that. I'm not into that kind of stuff. All right guys, so I'll catch you guys in an hour or so. All right guys, so we finally made it to IHOP. So it's basically like a 15 to 25 minute wait. Um, it's cold out here. Oh, Dark, you're forgetting that you're on the phone. Darty? No. No, but it's cold. Dom, what name did you get? Dom? Dominique Dom? Is it warmer in there? Yes, sir. Come on. Bye, darling. Bye. Bye. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, guys, so we're about to get this food popping and then I'll vlog you guys when I get there and actually get the food in my hand because it's a mess right now. There's too many people here. It's too packed. It's too small in here and I'm not trying to get bumped or anything like that. So I'm just trying to stay. I'm like on the outside of everyone. Like this is everybody else. So I'm on the outside of stuff and Dan and no, nah, I'm okay. So I'm on the outskirts of stuff. So yeah, I'll meet y'all up a little bit later. Not even later. When I get my food and we actually get a seat, I'll sit down and I'll continue to. This is diet plan starting here. Oh my god, hopefully this is a success because they keep saying, Are you trying to get skinny after after you got your boobs done? No, I'm just trying to tone I mean, up, you, shape up. Technically, you won't get skinny overall. Exactly. It's more of like your gut will go down. My gut will go down, that's all I want. My gut to go down and my arms to be nice and trim. That's it. I ain't trying to lose my back. I need my back to be big. <laughs> Hey girl. 
Yes. She does it every time with the camera and she's just not into it. Like she's just not. Here goes the personal part when I talk to myself and everyone else stares because they I haven't mean, done do that yet, but move. they will. Let's go. Because they will begin to do that. <laughs> then it'll just turn into one of those things. You know what's funny? It's kind of hard to hold this. The butter lettuce looks good. Yeah, it does. So. But like the light in here is not good at all. Simu? No milk either. We can't even drink milk. I got almond milk. Oh, we're, let's just get those chicken breasts and then I'm done pretty much. I'm not getting the yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I'm but not sure how much more of the box rice. You still want that box rice? That is super packed up in this joint. Dan, this is the one you're looking for. This one. This is the one you want. Huh? You defrost them, then you split it down, like split it in half, and you can cut it into pieces. It actually cooks really good. Those are actually really good. I used to do, use those all the time. I should. What about the Purdue one? Um, aren't they the, the Purdue one's twenty three ninety nine versus it? <laughs> you just saw the bargain there. Here goes your your fried frozen. Oh, I used to love to make a nice chicken pond. You're frozen. <laughs> you're, fr uh, you're fried frozen. You guys have eggs? Yeah. yeah plenty. Plenty. Yeah. Mmm, shrimp. No, I don't want that shrimp from the freezer section. I have a big headache. Why? I don't know. We're doing good, guys. We're doing good. We're doing really well. We're doing really well. We didn't get all crazy into the stuff. We're doing really well. I wish you guys could see my reflection so I could do a quick dance with my reflection. No, no dance over here. I can't do the dance. Are you trying to get some, some, some action time? <laughs> no, I actually would prefer you cut me out of everything. Why? I don't want to be on there. Don't be trying to make No. Unless you're getting yogurt. Oh, yogurt? Yeah. I'm going to need a snack. I'm going to have to low fat. I got low fat. No. You good. What kind of beverage is this? Um, um, you want some? Grab me a shot. Shot. <laughs> Zachary, you recommend this? Yes. Is that how you pronounce your name? Yeah. Zachary. How do you pronounce it? Zachary. Oh, they excellent. They <laughs> oh, they misspelled it. Why didn't you tell them to fix it? I don't care. Oh, that's mean. I would have told them to fix my name. Thank you. Oh, that aftertaste. Uh huh. That's like a weird taste. It has like this weird aftertaste. I'm not interested in this at all. There was a smart balance butter. Let me tell you something. This was the quickest trip to Cactus. Nobody was going to sit here. But what's wrong? Everyone talks about this brand. I never know what's in here. Is that low fat? Uh, non fat yogurt. I got activities. How many activities do you got? This Greek was a yogurt. I don't like the consistency. The drinkable Greek yogurts. They're drinkable though. It has to be light non You only get it eight? You're oh, tripping. How many of these is there, Dan? Dan. She just said, 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 she
don't see that one. I don't even see, I said probably the front because it's probably on sale. And those are pretty decent. You get 18 cups, right? How much is it? There goes that butter, the, the Irish butter. Have you had it? I had it in the house. It's real. It's salty. Fatty. It is. But you can use like a teaspoon. Oh, they have like, they have the mini um, baby bell cheese. Yeah. Look at everyone. Mm -mm, no. Egg -less. Repulse. <sighs> I think it's nap time for me. I've hit the final stretch. That juice took me over the edge. That palm juice <laughs> took me over the edge. Yeah. It's about nap time for Dom. But we're not, because I have stuff to do and I, we have to go to Walmart. What kind of grain? I mean, we're going to go to Walmart. I know exactly what Oh, what is that smell? Oh, God. Did where are your grain? Your rice. Oh, yeah. That's not here. Let's go down the next one. Okay. So. It's a, it, we're going to have the type of trip where we go down every island. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> It is going to be the type of trip where we go down every single aisle. Thanks to Moo. I don't like that. You have olive oil? I have the. You, I use the spray. <laughs> I have the spray. Look That's at it. Bouncing off. around. What about dressing? <laughs> Look at they have avocado oil spray. Or, you know, this would be a better brand. That was like, what, $2 at Walmart? Oof. Guys. My girls are chilling. I'm ready to go home. I need a nap. Long nap. I got one, I told you. Princessa. You're probably better off in the Yeah. Princessa. She said no dressing. Dressing like low fat dressing light. Guys, this 21 day challenge is about to be lit. 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 All right, guys. Good evening. So I'm in my bed now. Late night. So I did a lot of stuff today. I went out to a pop I hop. I went to Costco's, then went to Walmart. So I did a lot of stuff for my 21 day challenge that I'm starting tomorrow. So I will link down the information for the 21 day challenge down below in the description bar if you guys are interested in knowing where I got it from. Um, she has a YouTube channel, her name is Brittany Babe. And she's also on Instagram as well, very popular. And she has a killer body. So I went and bought some stuff in preparation for the 21 day challenge. And I also picked this up at Walmart and I was telling you guys I was having trouble using the bathroom. So I got the the Walmart brand Equate Magnesium Citrate. I don't know what I was, I would say citric, whatever. You guys, it's the same laxatives type of stuff. So I got the Magnesium Citrate and I just took a little bit of it. And honestly, after I took it, I was, even before I took it, I went to the bathroom just naturally, but it was really, really hard. So I, it was, I had a hard time. So I took this one a little bit before I went the first time. And the second time I just went and it was like a natural going. It was excellent. So I'm back to normal, guys. I'm probably going to just take a little bit um, tonight just so that I can... Because like I said to you guys, I'm the type of person that's now... I'm very... I, I go to the bathroom daily. And I know this is TMI, but I just want to say just... Because if, if you're taking narcotics or anything like that, it will definitely slow down your GI system. So I'm just saying... Just so for people that don't know and are planning on getting surgery or anything like that, that it definitely slows down your GI and you don't want to be backed up like that because if you do get backed up, you will definitely be in the hospital. So I just, I'm like a really nervous person. I don't know if it's, maybe it's just because I'm a nurse, um, but I definitely went to get the magnesium uh, citrate and it worked. So I'm just going to take a little more because the consistency of the, <laughs> this sounds so bad. The consistency is uh, still firm, so I need to kind of soften it up a little bit. So yeah. Ah, I'm sorry guys, but I had to mention that just just things that you need to know Now the video I posted up yesterday. I got a lot of positive feedback and a lot of negative feedback I said that before um, YouTube definitely blocked that video. They just I mean, it's not blocked like it's suitable It's not it's like some like suitable for ads and not suitable for ads, but whatever I mean, it's an informative video. It's a video that I feel like 
people would like to see other than other like you know boring videos so I kind of felt like that video was helpful for someone who wants to get the procedure done and for YouTube to block that it just doesn't make sense to me because this platform is a platform for people to express their life experiences whatever etc etc and I really didn't feel like I was offending anybody in that video and if I did offend you I do apologize but for the people that the video actually was helpful to um you're welcome and I'm sorry that YouTube feels like it's not that way whatever but um I'm still gonna keep posting so today this video will go up tomorrow which is Monday well which is now because it's late so it'll be like day three and four guys I'm perfectly fine um I do feel like a little bit tender and I know Wednesday when I go and he's going to make me he's gonna start me on my massages he's probably gonna make me push the boobs in together like bring them together drop them up and pull them up so there's like a whole there's a I already know it so he's probably gonna be like to me you know what to do I don't have to explain it to you I just need to check the decisions and that's it so I'm gonna have to do like these massages with my breast um, and that's about it I do feel like I'm gonna catch stretch marks on my breast this time on that but I, I don't know why I feel like it's gonna be happy more on the side of the bottom just because I was really stretched this time I was stretched the first time I didn't get any stretch marks but I feel like now I was stretched a lot because my boobs are bigger now that I'll probably get stretch marks but I know a way to um, like I'll figure it out I'm not that's something I really don't like I'm not really worried about guys but um it's something to keep in mind like if you're like really flat like to begin with and you're trying to get large breasts it will you will definitely get stretched out and you'll probably get some stretch marks but I'll worry about that after the results right now they're still kind of like hard like they're rock solid hard boobs like and I, I don't know so the implant is still pretty high it's like up here so they have not dropped completely yet and I do have to like I said when I do the massage just squeeze them together pull them down push them up so you have to kind of loosen the sack a little bit so it's gonna take like two weeks two to three weeks almost a month for them to actually be settled in um they are really hard like a rock right now so it's not really that like interesting but hey whatever I'm still rocking with them and I know it's gonna take a while that's the per that's the reason why I got the surgery in January so that by the time the summertime comes up after I do my like little 21 day challenge and stuff like that I'll be ready body ready and you know mentality ready and stuff like that and my boobs would have already dropped at that point so when April comes around May comes around June comes around, I'm able to wear like regular stuff like I did tell you guys, I'm going to New Orleans next month and then the month after I'm going to Thailand. So I'm going on trips and I know you guys asked me, so I'm going to vlog those trips because you guys want to see. So this this year is going to be a lot different. I'm still going to continue to do my hair reviews, still do my Fashion Friday videos, my haul videos, all that kind of stuff. Uh, Transformation Tuesday videos, but I am going to add the dynamics of my life into it just because, I mean, you guys, I mean, I'm doing it now, so you guys like want to get to know me and stuff like that so i'm gonna add that dynamics into my channel you guys really liked yesterday's vlog i got so many views in one day i was shocked so um you guys were like really saying like i should continue vlogging and not just vlogging about breasts but like vlogging just general stuff i'm not a pretty boring person i do have like things that i do during the day and you know uh, it's interesting to like get to know somebody on the outside of being like a beauty guru or something like that and i don't even consider myself that to be honest with you guys like honestly so, um, yeah, so I'm going to vlog my New Orleans trip. I'm going February 24th, and then, like, a week or two later, I'm going to Thailand for 11 days. It's, um, me and my boyfriend used to do, like, a yearly, um, vacation, I guess. So, last year, went to DR. So, this year, we're going to Thailand, and hopefully, in Chris, during Christmas, we're going to Disneyland in California. So, I don't know. You guys, I I'll let you guys know each trip that I go on. I do have, like, a few of them planned. Two of them are paid for right now, and I'm just trying to spread out. I like to travel and I like to, I mean, like I'm still 20. I'm in my late 20s now, 27. Is that considered late 20s? So I'm trying to enjoy as much as I can before I hit my 30s. Just because, you know, like hopefully like things pan out. Maybe I get a ring or something or like something dramatic happens. And um, I just want to enjoy it now until like I really start having like kids and stuff like that. So I could say I did it, honestly. So I could say I did stuff before all the other attention and responsibility goes on somebody else. <laughs> All right, guys. So other than that, I'm doing good. I'm chilling. Um, thank you for everyone who shopped on my website. You guys, I know you guys, some of you guys are mad thinking like, oh, I didn't get to. But I did tell you guys before to look out on my Instagram. Um, if I was going to do a wig sale, I would have let you guys know on my Instagram. Some of you guys were very attentive and paid attention. But the website is still up. It's un If you go to my Instagram, it's in the description. It's in my description. So you could just click that. Um, 
I will let you guys know on Friday I'm reloading. So you guys will see some more units on Friday. It's first come, first serve. I know you got, I'm sorry. Like, I don't have, like, these these ways are ways that I review and I just, I, I sell them to you guys after the review. They're, like, almost, like, they're half the price and even over a little more than half the, uh, over the price, not half the price, half the price of what the website sells it for. So I'm just giving them to you guys as a sale. Like I said, they're sold as is everything. Most of the wigs, I customize the hairline anyways, and you guys will see the ones, the ones that I recently reviewed, like the ones that I customized the hairline and stuff like do those talk. I am putting those up there too. So if you like that wig after I customize it and all my units, I usually customize, I'm going to put them up on Friday and you can purchase them. I've already washed the units and stuff like that. I'm just going to dress like dress them i'm gonna style them up take photos and then um do what i need to do what will happen on thursday night is i'll put the website on maintenance and then in the morning i will uh, i will take it off maintenance and you guys can go ahead and go ham if you want i do accept paypal and um regular credit cards or whatever it is just make sure it's a valid credit card and you're all set um, like I did say, it takes three to seven days for the package to come to you. The ones that I sold on Friday, it's going to take a little bit. It's just take three to seven days just because it is a uh, holiday tomorrow. So I'm, I don't think the post office is open. And Tuesday I do work. So latest time I'll send them out is Wednesday. But um, yeah. So like I said, I'll leave the PO box down below if you guys want to send me anything. And yeah, I really want to say thank you to everybody. I am going to, I, I want to say thank you to everybody. You guys have been really supportive for the ones who have supported me. Um. I'm actually like almost at 130k which is kind of crazy that's like crazy AF so I want to say thank you to everybody I really love you guys so much and I'm going this year is going to be amazing like honestly like this year is going to be amazing like a lot of goals this year a lot of things are going to happen so I want to say thank you guys for supporting me and sticking with me and if you guys are interested in the Poshmark I it's like a process for me I'm going to try to set up the Poshmark stuff probably like next week Next week, next week I'll probably try to set up Poshmark so you guys can get some stuff from Poshmark. Some of my clothes I'm not going to wear and that I've reviewed. Everything is fresh. Tags are most of the tags are still on it, so you guys will get it for a fraction of the price. And you can order in bulk. If you order it in bulk, you I mean it's easier that way because you get a whole bunch of stuff sent to you at a fra like a cheap price. So think about that when you're buying my buying myself a Poshmark. Order it all together so you can get all the things you want. And you could just be all set. I'll send you a nice packet and you'd be all set. So, and if you guys have any, um, like recommendations for kind of like packaging companies and stuff like that, where I can like send like pack, like kind of like a, like a cute, like, um, unique packaging system for myself, for my brand, that'd be cute. I really don't have a brand brand. It's just called shop Dom's room, Dom's room or whatever. I don't know. But if you guys have any like ideas about, leave that down below for me in the, on the just comment section. That'd be great. Alright guys, so I'll probably vlog tomorrow, a little bit tomorrow. Um, I'm going to actually record videos tomorrow because I think I'm okay to record videos tomorrow. And I do start my 21 day challenge. So what I'll probably do tomorrow is do a video. Uh, just start the 21 day challenge. And then um, I did tell you guys I was going to start taking the Fit Tea fat burning tablets as well. So I'm going to go through the entire day showing you guys what I eat just so that you guys know. And it'll be great because it'll be kind of part of the vlog and kind of like my whole entire breast augmentation thing. So I'll combine everything together for you guys all in one. So I hope you guys keep watching these vlogs. I'll keep providing it to you as much as I can. Um, I'm doing them two days at a time just because I'm not going to do post-op one, post-op two. So post-op one and two were yesterday, post-op three and four will be tomorrow, and then I'll just sporadically add some stuff in there. All right, guys, so that basically wraps it up. I'll catch you guys in a later one. Good night, guys.